I think the biggest thing in terms of pilot success is creating the right KPIs up front. Oftentimes, and this happens on both the startup and the corporate, there's a lot of excitement to do something new and interesting, especially if it's cutting edge. And sometimes the scope and strategic planning of what that pilot looks like can kind of get lost in the shuffle a little bit. And so one of the best things you can do is what are the success metrics for each of those pilots? Make sure that they're agreed upon by both the startup and the corporate just to level set expectations. Um, and I think that while it seems like a very simple and easy thing to do, like I said, it can get lost in the shuffle and having those expectations up front can, can go a long way and can also help bring focus as to what the pilot or partnership should be leveraging or focused on. The most important the important thing is that you really understand what you're trying to accomplish as an organization, that you have sufficient membership of your innovation group or innovation council, whatever you establish, but that that group gives you the insights into business needs that you need to properly source and vet the startups. Because if you don't have that and you don't try to align these pilots and POCs to a specific business challenge, I think you have trouble getting buy-in from the organization. One of the best things about plug and play is they have an eye for operationally excellent startups. And so they're already going through the ecosystem, combing through you know high quality management, those who have track records, and then also just providing the learnings across all the verticals from all of the other corporate partners. What are the best practices? What are the best ways to leverage these existing startups? How to partner with them, how to put together pilots, and then how to do the right post-mortem and disseminate those learnings throughout the corporation afterward.